Hey, what is going on guys? This is Thorshay and today we're back with another Game of Thrones Conquest video. And as you can see on my screen right now, we have the Trinket Armory. So today I'm going to be discussing what the Trinket Armory is, you know, how to unlock your bonuses and, you know, just basically what it is in game and what's the best way to go around uh, doing it and filling it up. Anyway, if you guys enjoy the video, please do drop a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below if you have any suggestions. Uh, also leave that down below in the comment section or join my discord and post it in the suggestions channel if you guys want to support me on patreon there will be a link for that down below as well anyway let's get right into the video so the trinket armory is here trinket collections are now available under the smithy receive valuable bonuses by displaying your trinkets your trinkets in the armory high rarity and level trinkets will increase the bonus that each collection grants you during the trinkets and tribulations events this month non-event creatures will drop crafting materials for the featured trinket armory collection read more about the armory by tapping the guide below so we're going to do that instead i'm going to take you straight to the armory i mean to your smithy and in your smithy so you have all the usual options nothing here has changed but now if you click armory you will actually see that it has trinkets so it has your normal event armory here and then it has your trinket armory so if you go here this is your uh actual three armories so you have house aaron you have house mormont and you have house targaryen so i believe they'll probably end up expanding this eventually they'll maybe have a house dark heirlooms you know house lannister uh house tully so on and so forth so for now there's just the these three so house targaryen house mormont and house aaron and they having these events here which is the trinkets and trip uh, tinkering with trinkets events and the trinkets and tribulations so basically you just go here you hunt creatures you gain materials and then you can come and you can craft your actual trinkets so yeah oh wait uh this is a bit laggy but yeah so you're just gonna hit non-event creatures like um you know all the stuff around the map that are not part of any other events so non-event creatures they'll drop your usual drops plus they'll also drop some of the material needed to craft each trinket so house moment heirlooms is the winter's goblet winter rose necklace and a stalwart claw so let's go here go to armory and for normal armory you know like in order to unlock all three bonuses here you need to have at least the minimum loadout for you would be two legendary two fine and two poor items so that is two yellow two blue and two uh, gray but obviously if you have more resources you have more materials and you don't need to do the absolute base then you can just go with all legendary or two legendary and all gold the two legendary and all purple so on and so forth and of course the higher the rarity and the higher the actual level of the item is the more points it gives the more points it gives the higher collection level you have the higher your collection level is the better your stats are so just remember that so let's look at my house Aaron heirlooms my collection level is 42 and yeah, I have a level 10 legendary, uh, what is this, Falcon Shield. I have a level 15 Wilding Bone Needle and a level 20 Rampart Emblem. Both of those are gold. And so while um, your normal armory, I said you need two legendary, two fine and two common. So for your trinket armory, it's actually a bit different because unlike your normal armory, which requires your two legendary items, your two blue items, and your two common items to require, unlock all the bonuses. For your trinket armory, you can actually have one legendary because that will unlock your moth size versus seeds of power. Then if you have one fine, so one fine is one blue item, then that will actually unlock your infantry attack while marching versus player because it says requires two plus fine. So you'll have your one blue item and your one legendary item. And then your third one can obviously be poor. So for your Trinket Armory, basically, instead of having two Legendary, two Fine, two Common, you can have one Legendary, one Fine, and one Common. That is the base, like, that is the lowest possible uh, rarities you can have to unlock all four of your bonuses. Obviously, if you have better stuff, then you'll get a much higher bonus. So let's just look here. So I have one Legendary and two Gold. So one Legendary and two uh, Epic Items. So because of this, you know, I have a much higher collection level. Like, let's just say... So you can see my Rampart Emblem at level 20 gold is 1380 collection points. A Rampart Emblem level 10 at purple is only 40. So if I display this instead of my level 20. Oh wait, let's remove that first. And then we'll display the exquisite one. Unless it's lagging. <laughs> this game, oh my god, this game is so laggy all the time. Okay, there we go. So as you can see now, the bonuses went down because of my collection level. So now my training capacity is plus 9, troop defense let's say is plus 0 0.77, you know. So yeah, that's the thing. So that's where you always try to get your best stuff in there. By putting this back in now, I'll have a much better thing. So my training capacity will be 16, troop defense let's say is plus 1.44. 
and all my stats are basically improved so when house mormon comes out i'll probably aim for one legendary item and two gold items if i don't make that one legendary one gold one purple or two purple just so long as i unlock all the bonuses it's fine from there i'll work on increasing the rarity and the level of each item so that's just basically a trinket armory it's exactly like your normal armory to get to it you just go to your smithy you go to armory and then you click on the trinket tab it works the same as your normal armory you put in your pieces you unlock the bonuses by meeting the minimum requirements and then you have those boosts permanently applied to you so yeah and then obviously like each one has the different things so the house Aaron stuff is cab focus house mormon stuff is basically uh well it's a bit it's uh it's a bit of each like it's infantry attack while marching then ranged attack first plays infantry and then there's some mod speed there as well and then house targaryen is attack at a seat of power ranged defense infantry attack so yeah and then like I believe, yeah, the Winter's Goblet, you can actually get your pieces for this from your expeditions. The other two, you have to either obviously buy packs or raid creatures during the event. So yeah, now a lot of you guys, especially those of you that are new, so the armory is a bit confusing. So um, let me try and answer a few of your questions. So if I had, let's say, a level 20 purple and level 20 gold, the level 20 gold gives more points. But if the level 20 gold doesn't give enough points to reach the next collection level, the bonuses I get will stay the same because a lot of people have been asking me about that and that's basically what will happen so you only increase bonuses when you increase your collection level so as you can see mine is 42 if I push up to 43 there'll be a slight increase in my different stuff you can press the information button here and it'll actually show you so level 42 is 1920 to 2279 collection points and it unlocks those bonuses if i get to level 43 it will push up my bonuses a tiny bit so instead of plus 1.47 troop defense plus player i mean 1.44 troop defense plus player i'll have 1.47 so it's a 0 0.003 but or 0 0.03 but anyway every little bit helps and then as you keep pushing it up eventually over and over if you get to like max level which is level 66 you get plus 2.54 so yeah and then well that's not max it's just max level for me i think at the moment but there if you get to collection level 151 plus you get a plus like 16 percent bonus plus 32 percent bonus so it really does help especially if your your entire armory is stacked up so yeah armory is a very important thing to do but if you guys are you know you guys don't have a lot of mass or if you guys are not spending money on the game then just try go for the uh base stuff so for your normal armory that is two legendary or two yellow items two blue items and two common items for your trinket armory that is one legendary or yellow item one blue or fine item and one common or otherwise known as a gray item so yeah if you have all three of those you will unlock all your bonuses and if they are very low level like you have level one stuff or level five stuff only or whatever then obviously your bonus will be a lot less but as you increase your level and you increase your rarity of the items your bonuses will get better and better and better until you unlock those really high stuff anyway if you guys enjoyed the video please do drop a like comment subscribe to the channel let me know down below if you guys uh, want to see more game of thrones videos what you guys would like to see me record and i'll see you guys in the next video